Morning everyone, just wanted to um, give you a really quick um, show or look at what we're dealing with here when we talk about um, green death and corrosion on the boats that we do rewires on. This is a nice BEP battery cluster. Unfortunately, it was exposed to a lot of salt water. Um, you can see here, cables were severely kinked. Um, you can see all the green death on the back of the battery switches. Um, what's happened is salt water's got into this cable. This is the main cranking cable going to one of these uh, V6 Mercury's behind me. Um, so we're in the process of fully rewiring this boat and what we do is we uh, strip these cables back and see the quality and the condition of the cable, see how far the salt's got. But we're quite shocked on this one, that's the, that's the black, this is actually a tinned marine cable. Um, but because salt water's been getting in, you can see that cable's all corroded, it's gone black. Now, we've stripped back nearly probably six, seven hundred mil um, and it's still black here. So we thought, goodness me, how far has that gone? Um, we've pulled this through and just started doing a bit of a test and you can see we start stripping here, still black, still black and corroded. And we're starting to pick up some clean wire here. And then eventually back down there, we found clean tin wire. So we've gone back well over a meter from where the battery switch was and where the corrosion was seeping in. You can see that salt over, this boat's about five years old. Um, has traveled more than a meter down this 25 mil battery cable. This is the main cranking cable and obviously the charge cable coming out of the alternator on that Mercury. So it goes to show, do your connections well, make sure they're sealed and maintain your battery switching and cables and you can avoid massive problems like this guy's having in his boat.